morning i feel better with my glasses off good morning so today i'm taking you with me in my day i'm currently at a resort in Makan Cebu, which is an hour away from home i wanted to show everyone my daily makeup routine and so i just realized that it's better if i incorporate other parts of my day just to introduce my, myself better to this vlog so i hope you enjoy watching and let's take you with me <laughs> it's my boss's birthday yesterday so we stayed overnight here at the resort i was supposed to go to the gym but she invited me for breakfast so yay for breakfast buffet i hope my camera is not fogging again make me panic <laughs> um Mia here sorry but I think they ordered, um, I'm not sure. Is it buffet? Um, half buffet, ma'am, half a la carte. Ah, okay, that's so. good. Still the Christmas vibes. So, current breakfast situation. They actually divided the buffet into two. It's half buffet and half a la carte. The half buffet is mostly just pastries, bread, juices, fruits, but the meat you get to choose if it's American, Filipino, Continental, whatever breakfast. I think this works to the hotel's advantage because they don't have to cook unlimited meat. Guess what I ordered? Is it Filipino or American? Careful, it's hot. Thank you. So, already had breakfast. I haven't exactly bought gym shoes, so we're barefoot. So I'm gonna do some stretching and some exercises that I do at home. A lot of people ask me what my workout routine is. Honestly, I don't have one, but I do work out every day, like at least 25 reps or 10. So if anyone wants like a workout recommendation, I did P90X to tone my stomach a bit. My friend Leah and Jessica influenced me to practice that. It really feels good, like I wish I could really incorporate that to my lifestyle. Exercising releases a lot of good hormones and just so I'm sure I can start my day right and the rest of the day I'm gonna be activated. I work out! Let's go! I actually try to split every day. I've learned how to split since I was nine years old or something. And back then I didn't know I had scoliosis but I don't think it's affecting it. Just as long as like I practice proper body mechanics, but don't do that unless you've consulted the doctor. What's super interesting about these ab workouts is that they actually have immediate results. Say hello to my disproportional curves, sponsored by scoliosis. So, I don't actually wash my hair every day because if you have colored hair, treated hair, um, it's always best to wash your hair two to three times a week. And today isn't one of those days. If I have to create content for the day, I have to wear contact lenses. So many people ask me what these contact lenses are. My Instagram filter is actually inspired by this one. This is in sandalwood. Take note, because I'm only gonna say this one. <laughs> you can always replay it. This is in sandalwood from Executive Optical, and it expires in a year. Mine is graded because I have really bad vision. But it's okay, God compensated it with beautiful eyes. <laughs> Just kidding. Makeup time! I use the sassy silk for my loungewear. Here's my makeup kit. And I'm gonna show you my daily makeup routine because wherever I go, it's the same makeup routine for me. Of course, I've already washed my face. I use just a very basic moisturizer. Since I'm traveling today, um, this is in a travel pack. This is just, I think, Celatec. Um, it's very mild, it doesn't have any scent. What I like about it is that it absorbs in my face easily. This is my holy grail. I've been using this since my first year in college. It's been five years since I've used the same product. What I like about it is that it suits my skin tone. There are times that it's too bright if I apply an overly generous amount. My skin is very acidic. It easily 
oxidizes if I get that right. Malana yung makeup ba? If I apply it too much, I don't have to worry because for the rest of the day, it's just gonna fade away. The next one, this is another Maybelline product. This is Super Stay Full Coverage Concealer. This one comes in a limited edition Marvel collection. Thank you, Maybelline, for sending this over. That one's gonna flat out that part of my face. Pat, pat, pat. It like lifts my face up, emphasizes my eye shape. I use this lip tint. It's from Bezo PH in Romance. I like like super dark colored tints because like pink or orange shades, like popping and bright ones. I don't really feel like they suit me. It's a bit orange here, but don't worry because this is my lipstick and I've tried so many other brands, drugstore brands and high-end brands. I probably haven't tried enough high-end brands, but this one's Sugar Tint by Pink Sugar. The shade is in Pillow Talk. Take notes, ladies. You can get this in Watson's, Ayala Center Cebu, or SM Department Store, I guess, um, in the Pink Sugar stall. I overline my lips. Even when I eat, like, I don't have to worry that much because it just stays there. Its texture is very matte. My makeup artist friend loves this and I almost don't use any other lipstick product. When I have enough time or when I'm not cramming, I shade my brows. I don't exactly need to do that because I already have thick brows but there are like sparse areas. This is from when I love my brows too much because I thought I looked good in very thin brows so I'm so sorry brows I know I know na load ka na ko pero ito na lang drawing man there see any difference this one is just you know more defined this one is another sparse area from when I balded that part but it's fine you know it's gonna go grow back I hope. So the next one is the blush. This is from Everbelen. I just bought this for 99 pesos. My best friend introduced me to this color. It's like a bit orangey, so it, I think it mixes it as like a semi contour in a blush for me. Not that accurate here with the yellow lighting, but. Mm, that one, or I can just lift it up there Look for like a more peachy, beachy look. And of course, let's not forget to thank the Fab Lab Lifestyle for my fabulous lashes. It's been exactly a month since I got this. Today I'm filming this in January 5. I got this in December 6. And it's still there. No mascara needed, no worries about panda eyes. Last thing, nose contour. I use Bahama Mama, the goddess of sponges. And these are all set. One last thing, let's top it off with this for my feet. <laughs> it's not a shoe, it's a perfume, Carolina Herrera. Thank you, Monitens, for sending this. And since we can be a little more extra today, because we're going to the beach and I'm having a photo shoot later for a table of Alinea. If you feel a little bit more extra, I suggest you put on highlighter. This has been my favorite highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics. Same as Balm Mama. Hey. Ooh, that's me. Just on the high points of your face. Like that. That one. To accentuate it. I 
and there you go we're ready for the day so that's how i usually prepare for a day out when i'm just home i'm just regular eyeglasses me and this one i'm regular makeup me i'll be filming the rest of my week for a week in a life vlog i should i think it should be up the week after i upload this one i hope you enjoyed and if there's anything you want to know any tips that you'd like to ask from me feel free to comment below i can't ever spray my face without feeling that moisty moisty so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed my makeup tutorial and i hope i can introduce more looks soon and experiment if you also want a giveaway because i think i have a lot of stuff to give away a new lipstick let me know so i can plan it out and do it on instagram um i hope you had fun watching this video and thank you so much for all the support you've given me in the past months of starting my vlogging life it means a lot and it really keeps me going every day and I hope I can commit to uploading next week. So thank you so much for watching my vlog and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye!